is Maria from Maria's Way of Life. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I am excited to share with you a collection of covers. I have now become a Hobonichi cover collector and these right here in front of you are all A6s and I went to do my relaxation tea for her, from Herbalife and I am feeling a little bit pumped and I haven't felt like that in a while. It's just really hard to be at home with this pandemic and you know, sometimes it just hits me. Sometimes I'm okay, sometimes I am not. And I felt like today was a good day to film. And especially because I have collected some of the, what the Hobonichi community calls unicorn covers. So they're covers that maybe got away from some people or maybe we were not around during those releases or those years. So um, for me, it was, these two right here i was around for this release but i did not get it until 2020 meet again sell so or for 2021 but these two are the ones that got me inspired and got me deep into this collection rabbit hole even though i have gone into the hobonichi cover collection deep 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 deeper so let's get started i took away the cover and covers so that you can appreciate the art a lot better and just as a disclaimer this is the third time i'm trying to film because i always get disrupted this time i sat down with a tea and i'm like i am doing this no matter what i do have another video coming up where i will be showing you the same covers but without the description and by that i mean for every cover i want to know what year it was released on and I want to know the name and a description of it. I took this directly from the Hobonichi website and they're just for my personal use and I'm putting them in the cover so that I can have that information with me. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be reading the description from my card so that you can hear a little bit more about the cover. Now, Initially, when I wasn't interested in seeing a lot of the hauls that were older because I was like, there's no point. I can't really buy them off the website anymore. But I was able to find these in other ways. You can look in Mercari. You can join Facebook groups uh, for buy and sell trades. Um, you can uh, go to eBay. And if you're interested, of course, in collecting. But I didn't know that. I was <laughs> just very stuck with ordering from the site and very obsessed as well. So I think if you are interested, you might be able to find certain covers. Now, I didn't have a lot of trouble finding these two unicorn covers back here, but it was more, I had, it paid me to pay as much as I did for them. We're not going to talk about that right now, but I did, I was able to find them. So, and I was able to, get a deal with getting both of them from the same seller. But um, that deal wasn't as good as I would like, but I, you know, I tried. And so let's get started. Uh, this one right here and all the planners, when they were selling from the original website are around $30. So let's start with this one, which is the one that got me started. I love the color pink and immediately I wanted to buy it. And then I looked at the name of the cover and it captured my attention. Like you have no idea. I was like, what is this title? I don't think anyone knows, but I'm always singing. This year, we got another touch show cover designed by children's book illustrator, Ryoji Arai. It promised to bring joy, amusement, and hope to the user. This cover shows a bluebird all dressed up in a beret and necklaces. She's prim and proper on the front of the cover, but on the back, she's got her wings open, ready to fly. The printed design captures all the details of Wright's original work, which was painted with acrylics filled with color pencils and layered with lots of line art and color. Around the spine is a collage with small photographs with added colors. Maybe it's a selection of all the things the bird has seen flying around the world, or maybe it's all in her head. Either way, you'll be filled with the imagination as you take in all the details in this design. The light blue interior, reminiscent of a clear blue sky, and its energizing color scheme is topped off with yellow and pink bookmarks. There we go. And then when you buy this cover, it did state on the website that a portion of this cover will be, will be donated to a Japanese animal rescue shelter. And they gave the name of the shelter and everything, so I thought that was pretty neat. 
there it is that was the first one ever and then of course meet again sale happened at the end of the year of 2020 and this one was uh released then and it was my time to join and get this one as well so once i got this one i knew i had to go find these two let's look at this one let's put this one back in and again i did move the cover and covers because i wanted to make sure you guys enjoyed the art as i was reading the description and again i love seeing these videos because you don't have all of these filters going on i have a light here but i can see on the camera it's really close to the colors of the cover and there's the back and of course the cover and cover does come with this opening so you're able to access that back pocket in the actual cover so there it is there's the first one let's look at this one right here this one's a beautiful cat the pink interior is there and then you have the neon yellow bookmarks with pink and blue and then all of the covers come with the same configuration of pockets and then you have your loops this one's have this sign you have cherries and a starry sky on this side let's look at the name of this cover and the description i forgot when it was but we sure had fun Children's book author and illustrator Ryoji Arai is back with this cute cover featuring a pink cat you'll want to carry with you everywhere. Is the cat in the open field or perhaps floating in a dream? The original pieces had canvas painted with a variety of mediums and brush strokes to depict a basket, guitar, hat, and other dreamy objects. The artwork has been printed onto this cover and provides a wonderful work of art the user can enjoy. The cat is drawn without eyes or nose, so its expression changes depending on how you look at it, sometimes looking happy, sometimes looking sleepy. In addition to the paint and other art mediums, the original art piece also includes a collage with pieces of vintage postcards and clippings. The yacht entry on the bottom left of the back of the cover are an example of these clippings. The cover interior is a vibrant shade of pink, and the two bookmarks are lemon yellow, making the blue, pink, and yellow color scheme reminiscent of color candies. The pen holders combine a starry design like the sparkling night sky picture on the back cover with a cute cherry pattern. Here's the cherry pattern on the lamp, and then here's the pen loop. Arai also came up with a silly name to this cover. It almost seems like the cat is the one blurting out. I forgot when it was, but we sure had fun. All right, tells us. I wanted to convey how cats are so arbitrary and blunt. We hope this cover will have you filling in your book with all the that sure was funs. That's beautiful. All right, so here's the interior pink and the bookmarks. Super duper cute. Let's put back that cover on cover in the card because... I tend to lose things right away, especially because I get tend to get tons of disruptions and I hope you don't really feel them here in the videos, but I do. I get tons of disruptions and I have to constantly pause video and come back on. So if you see some cuts that are kind of weird, that's what happens during my videos. And I have two baby girls and a husband and parents that are calling me constantly and my sisters so yeah okay last two covers very excited to share these with you guys these are the ones that took me a little bit longer to find as well as i paid a lot more than the original price on the website being that they're no longer for sale on the hobonichi website let's go with this one so this one's 2019 2021 and we're going now into a 2015 so when they used to do these covers back in the day they used to put in the year here which i thought was genius and i loved it i wish they would still be doing it even if they i heard that through the grapevine in the hobonichi community that they did it because they were carrying on or bringing over other covers from other years into this the upcoming new releases but honestly i would have appreciated that they still put the year even if they were selling them in 2021 that they can put 2019 or whatever 
just because uh, as a collector, I would like to have that year there. I think that's one of the really important things about when you buy for Hobonichi, you're buying a piece of art more than buying just a planner or a cover for your planner. You are carrying this piece of art with you and it would be kind of neat to know when they actually released it in the Hobonichi sign. I love this and the cards used to have it too, as you can see in here, but you know, it is what it is. Let me move on and do this one right here. Oh, maybe I need the card because I don't have these names and descriptions memorized. So here we go. Some say the gay turn wishes into sound. Children's book illustrator Ryoji Arai brings his unique style to his cover designs around the idea of utopia. Looking at this cover and its world where humans and animals, cities and nature coexist in harmony is enough to stir up anyone's imagination. The cover features a gate where the wishes of all who pass come to life as sounds. The print preserves the look of the material Arai uses to create it, like color paints overlaid with color pencils and silk printed gold circles. The cover feels like the original piece in your hands, accented here with a hot pink and neon green pen holders. So there they are super cute putting the description back in here and putting the cover on cover back in here i have a question while i'm putting this back in do you guys have any of these covers if so which one it is or the other thing i wish like i knew if you guys are collectors of covers which one is your oldest cover that would be neat like i wonder who has the oldest cover um in our community because that would be neat i mean i get so excited thinking about how you know these covers have been released so many years ago and they are so cute and like i said the artwork in it is just so beautiful it's kind of hard to ignore so i am not only obsessed but uh, very respectful of all of the artists i think in all of these Hobonichi covers and collaborations with this big company now. So that is really cool for the artists that they are known through a different source, which is super cool. To me, it's like amazing. So here we go. This one is the famous donkey cover. I'll listen to you anytime, says the donkey. This cover is a collaboration with children's book illustrator Ryoji Arai. We asked him to draw something completely original and he came up with this illustration of a donkey. The color scheme of the front really makes a donkey image pop off the cover. And the motif on the back is a collage with torn off notepaper or notebook paper and landscape photographs. Arai also made each strap of the pen holder different color to mismatch red with pink. Users can share the feeling of carrying an actual art print around with them. And the unique name reflects the special relationship between a planner and its user. So, yes, I'm glad you listen to me anytime, Donkey, because I need that. Um, so, it's beautiful. I made this card smaller because I wanted it to fit on this slot right here. So, I might just end up cutting the rest of them as well. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention as well about these covers is that I love how they connect to each other, even though they're different years that they were released in. And I'm not sure if it's from the same children's book. You guys, if you know, please let me know. I'm going to be honest. I haven't read any of those books and seen any of the illustrations in the actual book. But I do notice that the bookmarks are kind of like a teaser and a hint. And I don't know if that's meant to be, but I look at patterns all the time in artwork. And I look at how this green and pink here are very prominent in the interior of and the pen loops of this cover that was released the following year. So this is two, four, 2014, 2015. And then the pen loops of this one are very prominent in the front of this cover which was released this was 2015 this was 2019 same with this one you see the pink and blue you have that pink in the bird i mean sorry that blue in the bird and then the pink in the cover not only that you have the blue interior in this one also the starry sky does appear in the 2015 artwork I don't know if you can see it there. And then you have it in the 2019 release in the pen loops. See? 
there it is so like i said i don't know if it's from the same book but i thought it was pretty interesting and i'm sure if i look at different things or you guys look at them you probably find other things as well that's why art is so special and uh, i love the way they are connected or i feel that they are connected to each other besides obviously the very bright colors in it that are that make me super happy every time i open a planner so this is super cute. I hope you enjoy this. It, again, if you have an older cover, let me know what year and what and what the name of the cover is so that I can search it and look it up. I think that would be very interesting and very fun, especially if you love Hobonichi covers. I can really be scrolling through those old websites for a long time. Just, you know, looking at the way they have grown as a company is super cute and how they integrate tons of artists. I love that and I hope you enjoy this. I will be uploading a video where it will be shorter with no description. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and check it out. Love you guys. Take care. But more than anything, God bless.